So. Oh, oh. oh my god, your shoe dropped out! Ah, forget it! I don't care, really, whatever, fine! This is the Clemency Forest, the second largest patch of forest habitat in Singapore that is about 85 hectares in size. And we're going to go in to explore some wildlife. Let's go! Yeah, 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 yeah! Look at the grass glistening like twing 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 twing. So this like morning dew. Uh, not sure if it rained yesterday, but you know in the morning when the weather is cold, that's where you condense into water droplets and it's so pretty. Another really beautiful phenomenon that you will see here is the magical mist. Like the dew, they are formed by condensation. When the humid air in the morning suddenly encounters the cooler surface of the land, it rapidly condenses into mist, giving us this mythical looking landscape. A chill vibe here, okay? Everyone is chill here. The insects are super chill. They're just basking in the sun and having a good time. So yes, when you're here, you're chill. Oh my god, there's a slope here, okay? Must be careful, ah. There's a freshwater stream running down this path and it will enter the forest. So there are a few freshwater, natural freshwater streams in the forest undergrowth and canopy. And this is a treasure trove that is home to many of the wildlife here. Hey, question. Yes. How are the streams formed? Here? Yeah. So fresh Russian streams, right, they usually originate from a larger water source, such as a pond or a lake, somewhere uphill. Then, you know, like, uh, there's an outflow and then there's this little stream that forms. And usually these streams, right, they are shaded, they are a bit cool, slightly acidic. So they always originate from somewhere. Yeah, it could be from some uh, water source that's underground and then somehow it just spots out of nowhere. Yeah. Slippery, slippery slope. This is a damselfly. Now, damselflies are close relatives of dragonflies. So, when dragonflies land, their wings they are still like lateral and horizontal. But for damselflies, they are able to flip it backwards like any other winged insect. Right, do I go down? I guess if we want to continue. Ooh, whoa, whoa. I can do this. I was a cheerleader. I can do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. As water flows downstream, its speed slows down and it becomes murkier from all the sediments it has picked up along the way. That is one of the reasons why the stream and ground around here is so muddy and are often full of leaf litter and debris. Ah, forget it! I don't care, eat it, whatever, fine! Take my feet, take it! <laughs> take it! I don't care! Why are, why are mud slippery? What? What do you mean by that? It reduces friction, duh! You hear a lot of birds calling, so this is the home of up to like over 90 over species of birds, including like the straw-headed bubu, which is really rare, and some migrant visitors such as different types of hornbills, etc. So yes, it's such a beautiful place. It's a cute little tortoise shell beetles. This is really pretty. You might look like a ladybug at first, but it's not because you can see that yeah, the shell is like a tortoise shell, and then it flips out at the end, and then the eyes and the head is all underneath the protective shell covering. Hey, parakeet! Is this the real way? Yes, right. Yeah, it is. Oh, this this too. <gasps> right, can you see like the brown coloration? That is due to the tannin, and when it mixes with water, it becomes tannic acid. So it's slightly acidic, just because of the environment here and types of plants found here. Yes. Wait, is tannin the thing you find in tea? Yeah, some teas. So technically, if you drink that, that should taste like tea, yeah. <laughs> You want to try? No You try it, You MJ. No, let's move on. Oh my god, it's like the menstrual cup fungi. Really? <laughs> uh, it looks like a menstrual cup. <laughs> so fungi are not plants, right? Yeah, they are closer to animals in fact. Huh? Yes. I don't want to fall to the mark of my phone. Yeah. Do you die? Yes, my shoe dropped out. Huh? Oh my god, your shoe dropped out. Oh no! Pond skaters have water repelling skin surface, especially on the tips of their legs. So when they walk on the water, it increases the surface tension of the water, allowing them to cap lightly on the surface, and then that's how they skate across the surface. Okay. Like a real life Jesus. This is the one that we found the other day. You know, the one that like is wearing gloves and he's like, and tap 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 tap. Is it recording? Hello. Yes, it is. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Hi! You just hold these two planks and you just step down. Oh. Okay. 
So this is the right path? I, I think so. Or as right as it can be. Yeah, la. it's better. And at last I see the light. And it's like the fog has lifted. Wow! They don't even want to bus stop to welcome us. Life is good. Life is good again. So Clementine Forest is really beautiful but it's really not easy to look at this. It looks beautiful but to judge through it is another story. So please come prepared. Having said that, this place is actually home to many of the wildlife here in Singapore. There's a lot of flora, it's a lot of fauna for sure. Very naturistic, very rustic because there's old railway tracks around, there's freshwater streams but it's not easy to hide. So there are slippery slopes, there's sharp spikes on trees that you might accidentally poke yourself. There's muddy areas obviously but I still enjoy every bit of it. Unfortunately, this forest has been slated for residential development so it may not be around in a few years' time. So if you guys would like to see it and if you guys are ready to take on the challenge, uh, you may check out this place. It's a beautiful place to visit before it's gone.